So I work out enough where I can eat some sometimes like this. So maybe my trainer will get mad sometimes, but he knows I work out enough. I'm good. What's up, GQ Sports? It's Trey Young with the Atlanta Hawks here. And I'm here to show y'all a couple of my essentials I got. I'm a big card guy. I always gotta have cards with me. Um, ever since I've gotten to the league, I've just been playing with my older teammates on the planes. And I play it all, to be honest now. I play Blu-ray, I play Tonk, um, Spades. I know there's a lot I can still learn, but I know I know a lot of them. Everybody know Lou, Lou Will, um, Bogdanovich. Us three really be playing uh, a lot of the card games heavy, so. Usually we don't get a lot of sleep on flights, we're usually playing. There's definitely some crazy stories that, that'd be happening with the card games. When you're playing cards, you gotta have a speaker. I always got it. Whether you're in a gym, you need a speaker, anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I listen to everything. The Kanye album, Drake album, and the new Nas just dropped. Keeping up with everything. This is the one Quay gave me. We had known each other since before I even moved out here. So whenever I, I got drafted to Atlanta, it was just an easy transition to welcome me with open arms and uh, really help me embrace the city too. Yeah, we, we ain't uh, got on the court yet. That's gonna be a show one day, but he can hoop, he can hoop. I'll definitely watch him play. I always keep a body armor with me. You gotta stay hydrated. I got so much body armor at the house. Berry lemonade is the best one, and then orange mango is good. Tropical punch is good too, and then this one, watermelon strawberry. Those four are probably the best. A hat. I always keep a hat with me. I wear a, I wear a lot of different hats, but I'm more like a dad hat, like a baseball cap type of hat. This is one of my two eye hats. Close friend and made the logo. And uh, really just kind of took off from there. Adidas has it on and all their stuff now. I'm not very tall, which is a good thing. I'm able to stay low key that way too, but having it in a hat uh, makes it easier. I want to show y'all probably my favorite chain. Quay got it for me, my rookie year. It was like his wel my welcome to Atlanta gift he gave me. It's a lot of diamonds in it. I ain't never really asked Quay what, what the details were. I don't want to get all into the details, but. I was just appreciative of it. You got the 11, 11 at the top. Um, you got the basketball. After he posted this and uh, made a whole chain with it, it was kind of like a no-brainer. Everybody started calling me it just randomly on the street. It wasn't even just in arenas anymore. It was everywhere, so probably my favorite piece that I got. At first, I was wearing it for like for a minute, especially around the house. Uh, I, I had never gotten a chain. I mean, I'm from Oklahoma, so <laughs> coming out to Atlanta, getting this, Quay definitely opened my eyes to, to more jewelry. I don't bring it out too much, though. I don't bring it out too much, only certain, certain times. Got a rock with me, whether I'm at the house, traveling. It's just, you, you gotta take this with you everywhere you go. I mean, I was playing competitive basketball since I was in like fourth grade, fifth grade. I was always just traveling. Uh, going to different cities to play with different AAU teams. And now I'm here in Atlanta and I got two homes now. I mean, I didn't have any idea, to be honest with you, on draft day that I was gonna go to Atlanta. I guess my, my agent and my dad knew the whole day, didn't want to tell me, uh, just so I could experience the whole thing and really just soak it all in. And whenever I, I found out I was going there, I was super excited. I knew it was gonna be a lot of people hit me up and I, I knew uh, Quay was gonna show love. And that chain he gave me was probably, I mean, my welcome to Atlanta moment. Not that the ball has changed. Yeah. Like, do you have any like thoughts on that? I think it's a I think it's a great move. I think the Wilson like the ball, the texture. Um, I mean, it's just as good, or if not better, than the the Spalding. I think it's a, a a great move, and I think a lot of the players are gonna really like it. And it's just new. You guys don't. I mean, everybody doesn't like something that's new, and um, once it, you become accustomed to it, you'll you'll eventually like it. Yo, my next essential has got to be my shoes. It's still an unreal feeling having my own shoe and it's exciting. There's a lot of things on here like always remember. Um, it's it's kind of written inside the, the inner part of the shoe. I got that tatted on me and then got my signature on the back with my full name, Rayford Trey Young on the inside. I think it's, it's special to be able to honor um, my first name and my grandfather too with the shoe too. So this is my little color group. Shouting out Atlanta with the peach tree. I got the, the road intersecting on the, the sole on this one with the peaches on the other shoe. 
These are my, the first shoes I got to play in. So the Peace Tree colorway means a lot to me. These dropped on my birthday. These are definitely some, some special shoes to me. This is definitely a, a shoe I would wear. I know a lot of girls will wear. I got two sisters, so I know they'll rock these. They love this, and I, I think this is really cool. I got the ICs um, on the, the sole, too. And then these, the light blue with the red and white. The inside got my logo on the, on the tongue. And then, you wanna go back over these? These colors. I mean, partnering with JD, these are dope. I love these. Um, they go with anything, the black and white. I had to have a color like this, and JD, it was only right to do two colorways with him, one being bright and one being plain. So being able to, to next year go out and play every game in my own shoe is gonna be a, a blessing, and um, I'm not gonna hold it lightly. These are always gonna be with me. I always have a watch on. This one is uh, one of my most recent ones I got. Probably one that I'm gonna wear a lot. I like this, this AP is plain. I got a couple that I stand out, but I'm, I'm really just a plain, stylish guy. I mean, I grew up in OKC watching my favorite players. I mean, walking to arenas, seeing guys like CP3 and Russ and all those guys, they always had a watch on. And just, just seeing their fits when they came in, I think that was a a big thing that stood out to me was the watches. So there's a lot of guys that, that have a lot of style with watches and Steph, Braun has a lot. I mean, my watch collection is growing. I definitely have a lot of watches, but it's a smart thing uh, to put your money in too. Gotta have some glasses on me. Once I have the hat on, I gotta have the glasses with it. When I'm out in public, you see me, I got the, the hat already on. I got to put the glasses on. I'm saying you may see me COVID with the mask. It's hard to really. It's hard to really see me out in public, but I switch them out a lot. Just try to wear a different pair of shades. And I wear them a lot outdoors and uh, while I'm driving, and maybe when I'm out like at a mall or something, but not, not when I'm just in the house chilling or it's a dark space. Rappers and stuff, they be wearing shades in, indoors, outdoors, 24 seven. You gotta have some snacks on you. Today, you got the peanut M&Ms, but I always have some candy on me everywhere I go. And some of my favorite candies I like, I mean, Sour, Sour Patch Kids, Zowers is my favorite, Mike and Ike's, peanut m ms I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty young. Maybe I use the candy for energy. Let's go get a blue one, y'all. Oh. oh yeah, essential. I always have some mints, usually out toys though. If I ain't got it, my security got it on them. Yeah, so after you eat your candy and your M&M's, you gotta go straight to the mints. Does the mint count as candy? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know, that's, that's the first time I've ever been asked that. I don't know if mint is considered a candy. I wouldn't consider it a candy. When you eat a lot of mints or when you, you have a lot of mints, you definitely notice when somebody else needs one. So there's definitely been a couple times in the game when somebody's trying to talk trash too close, but uh, nah, it's, 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 uh, it's never that serious. I just, I have to have them. I have to personally. Some people are different. I don't like to have bad breath. Some people do. It's just how it is. All right, appreciate GQ Sports for having me. These are some of my essentials. I'll see y'all soon.